Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. In this lesson, we're going to be introducing web scraping with Python, using the request module to extract HTML code. What is web scraping? Well, web scraping is uh, using code to go out there and pull information off a website. So you can get tables, data, pictures, anything you want, you can pull it from websites without having to go there manually copying and pasting. This is kind of an introductory approach using request module. Uh, simply, this will allow you to call a website and inspect its HTML code from Python. We're going to use two main commands here, which will be request.get with the website address, and then we're going to print the results, results.txt. Okay, I'm going to go ahead over to my Jupyter Notebook and show you how this works quickly here. Let's see. Okay, so this is a really simple as far as code goes. We're going to start with just a really simple import request as RE. This you don't have to do. This I'm just aliasing this code. So when I keep writing it in my code, I don't have to keep writing requests. I can just write RE. You could name this whatever you want. Okay, just try to avoid common code names are out there, or common uh, actual syntax terms because that'll mess your system up. But So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to re.get and we put the name of my website here, the home page, analyticsforall.org. Notice I got the HTTPS. Got to make sure you add that or this will fail. Now I'm assigning this to a variable, r. Again, don't have to do this, but I am doing this to make it easier when I want to pull out the text. I can just type r.text to print. Let's go ahead and run this and you'll see what you have is the HTML for my website. You can go down here, you can look, you got head, meta, links. Here we've got a title. See it says Analytics for All, Education, I'm raveling behind it. Then it has a forward slash title that closes out. This lets you know this little section right here is the title to my website. You've got scripts. Some of this is like, you know, runs the JavaScript behind you, a lot of functions. We're not going to go into a lot of this. Honestly, I'm not an expert on HTML myself. What I use it for mostly is to inspect it to look for certain things that I'm pull, trying to pull information out of. But, you know, so if some of you, if you don't know HTML at all, let's have a quick kind of walkthrough to try to help you out with it. So what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And like I showed you before, it's using these markups. to tell you what's going on. So you have title for title, you know, and it closes out. You can have other things like paragraph, you can have head, you can have leaders. But this is how you know, looking at this area, that's how I'm looking for. So we can parse through this to look for certain code words. Okay. Let's go and let's go and take a closer look. Let's go ahead and live and look at some of this HTML in my website. This will kind of help you understand how to walk through this a bit. Okay. So here you go, you got my website open. If you can go to any element here, right click on it and hit inspect. And then you're going to see over here, if this opens up. And what we've got here is the HTML that makes it up. So you'll see that I just hit there. But if you look closely, you see it's a menu item. And it's got a reference point and this is where it's going. So when you click on the home button, which that's the name of the thing, it takes you to my main website page. Okay, let's go ahead and look a little farther down. I'll show you another cool, cool way to look at this. So we'll go ahead, scroll a little farther down my website, and we will go to this Twitter area. Let's right click on that, and let's inspect that. Okay, let's see. See, it's a list. Now, if you're looking to the left, you can notice as I click on it, as I scroll over, it shows you all the different things. See these P's right here. That's a paragraph. That's a paragraph. That's a paragraph. I can open one up and you'll see written right there. That's all the code. Paragraph, while sites evolving, da, da, da. So you can see, as I highlight over, that is the code. So that's what HTML is. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to build a website. I'm not really an expert on this. I built a couple in college. They were not very good. So what I am going to say, though, is that you can learn to look for tabs. You can learn to look for patterns in there and find stuff as you download this through this web scraping. So you can pull this and parse this script right out of my page without having to go to it. 
So that's the introduction to web scraping. We're going to go forward and start to use things like beautiful soup and selenium to get a little more involved. But this is just a good first start. And if you're still shaky on HTML, I suggest checking out some other websites that may give you a better definition of HTML and how to look at it. Tell them, please visit my site, analyticsforall.org. I have write-ups on all these videos on my site. I'll put a link down in the description. Also, if you can hit the subscribe and like button and leave a message. Tell me what you want to learn, what kind of classes you want me to cover, what kind of things. Uh, this is going to be video one in a series of videos on web scraping, and I'll be moving forward with some other stuff. Thank you very much.